well the sun's out so again I thought it'd be nice to do a video now on some of the best uh, settings for the Canon 600D in respect of um, the video settings anyway. You can see the very first option you might want to change is movie exposure. We've had a, a tutorial on movie exposure before. If you want day-to-day -day stuff for shooting the family or just ease of, ease of use like I am now doing this particular video and you've got changing weather conditions as we actually have here, I generally send that to auto but if you want to do something uh, slightly more ambitious, kind of more like professional looking or do some uh, more um, ambitious effects etc then you want to be setting that to manual. AF mode, we had a previous look at uh, in a tutorial on that, I would le normally leave that to live mode. Highlight tone priority, I just disable that, I don't bother to uh, set that. If we go along to movie recording size, uh, that's the, uh, one of the other main things you've got to choose and you can see there I've set that to 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, if I click on the set button there. And that's the one really uh, people try to use to emulate Hollywood uh, cinematography. Um, it's got the 24 frames per second, which is the frame rate used in, uh, in, in mainstream cinema. And it's also got the 1920 by 1080 HD quality, that's full HD. So you can see sound recording there. Well, generally, um, I would set that to auto. Um, we, there is another video which I've done showing where you would use the manual setting, uh, but generally I set that to auto. I've set the metering timer, that's actually for the um, holding the exposure, you've probably seen that in one of the, uh, I think it's in the auto exposure lesson I did, and that's by default that's set to four seconds. If you're going to be using that in auto exposure, then I find personally 30 seconds is a much more useful time, which I set it to that. Uh, other things, well here's a grid display, that's actually quite useful, and that's useful for setting up your shot overall, how your shot looks composition wise and I stick it to grid one and the reason I do that if you have a look at the screen there you see that the grid appears and the idea is this kind of rule of thirds thing that you get main um, it's perhaps not very well shot up on this but I'll, I'll stand in the scene now and you might see it that the um, main characters or points of interest are at the intersecting points so I'm roughly at one of the intersecting points there I think on the grid which anyway I may not be the most interesting uh, subject to be watching but generally when you're filming the idea is for composition if you can try and get your points of interest in those uh, intersecting areas that's apparently the most pleasing uh, composition for the human eye into the uh, display again video snapshot that's nothing really to do with taking videos as you would be now that's if you're actually doing something slightly different which is what's called these canon has introduced a site snapshot mode which you can take um, a number of shots for a few seconds it's normally meant for fun use which is quite useful and you can then edit them together. Um, I generally just leave that to disable, but uh, obviously it's something you might want to look at yourself. Uh, auto lighting optimizer, I just leave that basically on standard. Custom white balance, we had a, another look at another tutorial at that, you don't need to do anything with that. Okay, uh, we're gonna look in picture styles because that does affect uh, how your uh, video looks quite considerably. So um, picture style, I've got this set to standard and I normally leave it at that. Um, you've also got auto, which is not a bad one. And depending on your scene, portrait landscape you can actually affect the look a little bit either add more colors or more contrast etc so um, standards okay for most um, circumstances if you want to edit your film afterwards and add your own coloring um, you know saturation of colors co um, contrast etc you can choose a neutral faithful one which gives a more um, washed out kind of look when you film so you can add your own um, as I said color saturation contrast um, color t and tone afterwards and sharpness as well. If you go down you can actually even set um, your own defined um, settings for a style. So once you're down say to user defined one, I've set some settings there for editing afterwards and once you're in there if you say click on info and you come into the option, all the options within that style and I've set on this one for example sharpness um, right down to zero I go in there, you can see you can move it up and down. I put it down to zero. Uh, contrast, I've put it right down minus as far as it will go. See, by default it's at zero. I've put it further down. Uh, saturation, again, I've reduced that slightly from the default setting, which is zero, minus two, and color tone, I've left that. That's Those settings are the ones that are recommended if you're gonna be editing uh, your films afterwards and wanna be dealing with your own uh, additions in your editor for sharpness, contrast, saturation, etc. Regarding quality you can just uh, leave that 
whatever setting it's on because it doesn't affect video at all it just um, it just uh, affects the uh, resolution of your uh, photography a useful one there in settings you can see is I put auto power off um, i.e. If, if it's not been used for a while you can set it to switch itself off after 30 seconds I think it's 30 seconds by default I mean it obviously saves your batteries if you're not using it on and off but personally I just find it aggravating if you're filming that every, every so often it just switches off so I kind of disable auto auto power and don't have it switched on so the camera doesn't switch off I'm filming by the way I put the LCD brightness up to a maximum there just so it's easier to see against uh, daylight so that's something you might bear in mind if you're filming and you've got bright sunlight it might be handy to set that higher but obviously you're going to uh, disadvantage is you're probably going to wear the battery out quicker thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that